Hello, everybody. It's Thursday already, September 30th. Tomorrow's the first. I wonder if the government's going to shut down. I heard different stories here, so I don't know if they're shutting down. Somebody told me they reached a deal. I mean, I have no clue what's going on. And I guess they're still looking for a Brian Laundry guy. So you got the the dog, the bounty hunter dog. Wanting that two hundred thousand dollar reward, he's going to get that guy. So yeah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy out there. Yeah. So how's everybody doing out there today? I'm off balance today. My multiple scrolls is acting up because I think I did too much yesterday. And that's what happens. My pulse rate was going pretty high and wouldn't go. It took a uh, two hours for it to go back down. Kind of weird, like a you know, it's an autoimmune disorder where the immune system attacked itself. You know what I mean? So it's like a weak immune system. So that COVID happened, getting diagnosed with COVID a couple of weeks ago didn't help any much matter. So that's why I had the antibody infusion done to help it because I know I'd be a lot worse if I didn't get it done. And I had to act quickly. You know what I mean? You only got so many days to get that done. You can't wait like weeks and weeks and weeks and wait till the symptoms gets real worse. Then they really can't do anything. So they told me, you got to meet the requirements. You can't have any fevers, you can't be dehydrated, and you can't have oxygen level issues. There are, otherwise, it won't work. So basically, if you waited too long to get the antibody infusion done, it's, you know, you can't wait. Like I said, low oxygen level. My wife's mother is back in the hospital because I think the first time they rushed her out of there too soon. Now it's worse than what it was before, so, <laughs> yeah. Because I know the hospitals are full over here. I mean, they're they're like maxed out. And I know they want to rush everybody in there and get everybody in and out quickly as possible. And I think they they released her too soon. So I having breathing problems, oxygen problems, pneumonia with COVID and all that. It takes 20, I heard 21 days, not six days. She was there, it's like, I think six, six days. And a week later after that, back in the hospital. But it's a lot worse. Her oxygen levels on fit was 50. And she didn't want to go to the hospital. She was there laying in bed all day. In a potty chair, a portable potty chair, like right in front of her. Said, no, you got to go to the hospital. Had a doctor on speakerphone, on doctor on call, and doctor says, you're going to go to the hospital. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it, you know what I mean? So we got her over there. So, you know, I had a call and complain to the hospital over there again. They're rushing people out, and they're saying COVID anxiety. It's not COVID, it's COVID anxiety or something, and I have no clue. It's crazy. They just want to blame something to get you out of there quicker, saying it's not this, it's this, or what did you drink, what did you eat, did you drink uh, 20 cups of coffee today, did you drink 5, 2 liters of Mountain Dew, why is that heart, act, why is that heart acting crazy? That's just the younger generation. The nurse is doing that, you know what I mean? Because a lot of these hospitals really don't have many doctors, I guess there's a doctor shortage, they got tons of nurses, and a lot of them just got out of school, so they're like uneducated a little bit, some of them are, not all of them, I'm not going to bad mouth all of them. But yeah, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? And they got these vaccine mandates and they'll lose their job if they don't get vaccinated. But when you go in the hospital, the nurse will sit there and tell you, if you ain't vaccinated, we can't help you. So they basically tell you to go home. Because that's what happened to me when I went there September 3rd. Uh, the, uh, when did I go there? A couple Saturdays ago. Not this past Saturday, the Saturday before that. And I told them I have COVID and I'm unvaccinated. They told me basically to leave. Well, they told me to go outside, but basically the doctor came out like two hours later after my test came back positive. Because a lot of people, you go to these places to get tested, they came, they came to my house to do a test. A lab place came to my house to do a COVID test, and they came back negative every time because they're not doing it right. You had to go through a lab. Yeah, they sent it to a lab, a company called LabCorp. They actually sent three or four different, three, three or four different companies to do them, whoever's available. But they call back the next day or two and say it's negative because they're not doing it right. They post up both sides of the nostrils and touch right up here on both sides. They were just doing it one side going up right here. That's it. They wouldn't go all the way up both sides. And that's why they kept on coming back negative, negative, negative because they weren't doing it right. And yes, they do send it to a lab where it takes, like they said, 24, 24 to 48 hours for the test results to come back. So I had the one done at the school positive next day they called positive 
then my wife wasn't positive and my youngest daughter wasn't positive. It's kind of weird, but everybody else in the household, the rest of the, you know, four people was all positive. My oldest daughter, my youngest son, my oldest son and me and her mom all tested positive for COVID. Isn't that weird? It's weird. And my nurse that comes to the house said, oh, you don't have to wear a mask in the house. Well, that's a lie. The CDC and the health department told me they should, you guys should have wore the mask in the house. Yeah, because everybody got COVID in the house. It's kind of weird. Everybody tells you something different. It's kind of weird, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, just like someone said, they, they told me I have to wait 90 days to get vaccinated after this antibody, COVID antibody infusion, to wait 90 days to get vaccinated. That'd be right around Christmas time. And this, and this antibody infusion don't last forever. It wears off. They said it could wear off in weeks from now, a month or two from now. They don't know. They don't know because it's not even FDA approved. It's like emergency. They got emergency approval usage from the FDA on it. It's been around for over a year they've been doing it before the vaccines came out and they just didn't do it enough people are complaining they didn't do enough they people are complaining about the companies making profit and then worry about getting people this antibody isn't that weird yeah profit 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 and they got them out there they're making a mass they said they can make it mass quantity just like they do the the, the um they can make them antibody treatments in mass quantities just like they do the vaccines, okay? Hundreds of thousands a day, you know what I mean? Mass quantities. So, I don't know. Then the nurse at the school said you can get vaccinated when you get tested positive for COVID, you can get vaccinated. But the other pharmacy pharmacy down the street here said, no, you gotta wait 90 days. So I, I believe the 90 days, even the CDC, I had them on the phone, they said 90 days, so there you go. You know what I mean? I'm going to get vaccinated because this COVID ain't no joke. Once you have it, a lot of people said they had it, but it affects everybody differently because it kicks your butt. It kicks your rear end. <laughs> I had no energy or nothing. People complaining, oh, you're just lazy. I said, no, it ain't. COVID kicks your butt. Ain't nobody being lazy about it. You know? Shoot, I'm out here walking around. I still get six, seven, eight thousand steps in today, a day. The lowest day I had was uh, six or 1,500 steps. One day was 1,400, so I used to get a few thousand steps a day, okay? And that's pretty good for having multiple sclerosis, because it's like walking four miles a day. You know what I mean? I had multiple sclerosis since 2003, you know what I mean? And that affects your walking. That's why today I'm like off balance. My heart rate's acting up, you know, over 100, but I took my blood pressure medicine like a, an hour ago. And then I take a beta blocker, which slows down your heart rate, because my heart goes crazy sometimes. That's why I try not to overdo it because my pulse rate was high yesterday and it took two or three hours for it to go down. So, yeah, I just did too much. You know what I mean? And you're, it's crazy. You feel like trash, you know? Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm out here. It's kind of cool out here this morning. So, I'm going to hop off here. Comment down below. Hit that like and subscribe button down there for me. Let me know how you guys doing out there. Where are you guys from? Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it very much. Look, and I got cats in the window. They see themselves. Look, I think they see themselves. You see themselves? You see themselves in the window. But yeah, you guys have a lovely day. I can't believe it. Tomorrow's Friday the 1st already. October 1st, tomorrow. It's Thursday here. September 30th. Wow. Wow. Halloween before you know it. Yep. Not too many trick-or-treaters last year because of COVID. Yeah. But yeah. Thanks for watching, okay? You guys have a great day. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it very much.